Hello friends, welcome back to, you know what? I think we know each other well enough. I think we're besties now, so hi besties. <laughs> Today, I am going to be showing you guys my straight to curly hair routine. I don't straighten my hair often, I straighten it like two to four times a year. And every time I come back from straight hair, my curls are limp noodles and it's not a good look. So I finally created a routine that gets my curls to bounce back the way that I want them to. Obviously after the second or third wash, they're gonna be at their full potential, but that first wash, this is what I do to make sure I get my curls looking as good as possible. So this was one wash after straightening. My hair was straight a couple hours ago and it doesn't look like it. So I'm very, very happy with the results. So if you wanna see how my hair goes from this to this, then keep on watching. My hair is a disaster. I have absolutely neglected it. I don't know what I've done. It's stale. It's dirty. It's, it's bad. It's bad. I just want to give you guys a heads up that I have really bad scalp psoriasis. So I'm constantly, like, I constantly have dry scalp. So if you see some little snowflakes, you know why. It's not because I'm disgusting. It's because I, I mean, I kind of am because it's been a minute since I've washed my hair. But it's because I have scalp psoriasis. So what I do when I'm reverting back to my curly hair is I, of course, brush it out first. I make sure everything's all nice and smooth because what we're going to do is we're going to trim it. Psoriasis is in full force today. I think it's important that every time you straighten your hair, you give it a little trim. I personally do that because I just feel like my hair is not gonna grow if I don't cut it. So you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. And I do it very simply. Like I literally just like divide it into four, like rough sections like this. And I just trim each section at a time. So as you can see, this is what my ends are looking like. And that's not even just from this hair straightening time. This is from like the last time as well. I'm sorry that you can't really see. You feel bad about that, but I'm cutting about this much. So just the dead pieces. It's not perfectly healthy, but if I do this every couple weeks, it will be. I do it again to the next section. When I cut my hair when it's straight, you don't even see it when it's curly. So I don't have any problems doing this because like you literally can't even tell the difference. But like look at these ends guys. Do you see that? Because I'm telling you when I trim my hair, it grows fast. It grows really fast. And then after I wash my hair, I will be cutting a little more. Then I have a couple layers that I've like cut myself. So I just go down here and I go in and cut on an angle I'm by no means a hairdresser but I just snip snip and so now what I do is I put some coconut oil on my hair and just put it everywhere but especially the ends this is a cute top I don't think I want it stained by oil Then I brush it through. So I do this so that I can get a lot of moisture in my hair before I wash. I also like to get the oil on my scalp because as I mentioned, my scalp is very, very dry. So I like to put a lot of oil on my scalp. Now I take some Africa's Best Tea Tree Oil Hair Mask. I get this at the beauty supply for like five, six dollars. And I run that through my hair. Yeah, it's gonna get it a little bit curly. I like to leave this one in for about an hour. My sister's friend one time, she left this product in for a long time and it dried her hair up. And she was like traumatized and gave it to my sister. She's like, <gasps> so I suggest um, you don't leave it in for too long. And I don't think it's gonna like fuck your hair up, but if you have sensitive hair, you know, I say just be careful with products and how long you leave them in for. So now this one, I comb it again, make sure it's all distributed. Then I look at the ends and I decide if I want to trim a little bit more. And honestly, it's looking a lot healthier, so I think I'm okay. And I put it in a little ponytail. 
and I wait an hour. It's shower time. Oh my God, I'm so excited to wash my hair. It's been so long. I was depressed, so <laughs> I let it go on for a little bit longer than I normally would. So it's been about two hours since the last clip. Ooh, my hair looks, <gasps> that is so cute. It's been about two hours, I went for a walk. Now I'm gonna go wash my hair and take out this hair mask. Very excited, it's already feeling super soft. So in my shower, I wash my hair with the Jamaican Black Castor Oil Shampoo and I use it twice. I shampoo twice after I've waited a long time to wash my hair. Then I go in with some Aussie Moist. I use some really generic like drugstore stuff and they work for me. Oh, oh my God, I almost flashed you guys. Then I have my wide tooth comb and my Demon brush and I use these in the shower. Um, after I condition, I comb through it one more time because of course it gets a little bit tangled after shampooing. So I'm gonna go do my shower routine, come out and show you guys the next step in my process. This is looking really cute. It's like, I mean, it's like messy cute, but I don't know, I gotta live for it. <laughs> okay, all right, I'll see you guys soon. And we are back. My hair is wet, I just showered, and it's feeling so soft and healthy, and I'm really, really happy about that. Okay, so before we add product, I just wanted to show you the curl definition that I already have, and this is my first wash after straightening. I'm gonna do my curly hair routine. If you want a full length one, I have a video up. I'm gonna do an updated one soon, but um, you can check that out, I'll link it below. This is going to be just like a quick one, so you guys can just see the curl definition after straightening. Today I'll be using Jamaican Black Castor Oil Shea Moisture Leave-In and the Miele Pomegranate and Honey Coiling Custard. I spray my hair, add the leave-in, add the gel. So we're back, and as you can see, I have some heat damage going on. However, this is old heat damage, and um, it's been there for a while. The rest of my hair is looking good. Let me show you up close. Very defined, as you guys can see, on both sides. It's just those front pieces that are like damaged beyond repair, and I cut a lot of them off last time, so that's here. And these ones are just like a hot ass mess. I cut them as much as I can, but the problem is once I cut them too short, I can't slick my hair back and that's the only thing saving me. So I have these flexi rods. I've never used them. I bought them while my hair was straight. They are 10 inches long and one fourth diameter width. So they're really thin. They're like thinner than pencils and I'm gonna try and use these to revive my curls. Not revive, but like, you know. So I don't really know what I'm doing. I've never used these before, but we're gonna just try and see what we can do. This could use a little snippy snip too. My hair's a hot ass mess. I think there's some damage here, but I really believe that it's one of those that one more wash is gonna do it. Sometimes the first wash, um, I do end up with some dead pieces and then they come back, so. Okay, I'm back. It's been about two hours and my hair is pretty dry and very defined for day one hair after straightening. My curls do get better than this. Um, they look a little bit more luscious and soft. When I am not fresh out the shower after having straight hair for weeks, but I'm gonna give it a few washes for it to be completely back to normal, but this is good enough for me. This is wearable and this is what I want because when I don't do this routine, my hair is like limp spaghetti noodles. It looks bad. We're gonna stretch the curls a little bit because the shrinkage is 
for real. I just also want to dry the back of my hair, so I'm going to do that real quick. <laughs> Now we're gonna undo these flexi rods and see what happened. I don't know what these results are gonna be like. So if they're bad, I'm so sorry. I guess just like untwirl it, push it. I don't know what I'm saying. Oh my God! It doesn't exactly match my curl pattern, but I feel like it's enough to blend. What a cute curl. Okay, oh my God. Okay, girl. Okay, we're gonna separate these after, but so far, so good. Definitely not the best blend, but I'm gonna separate, and I think it will be enough to just like, you know, mix with my hair without being straight and stringy, which is what we don't want, you know? So let's see what happens. Okay, <laughs> definitely a lot going on here. <laughs> um. I think I'm gonna pin these back until my next wash. I'm satisfied. I like these curl, what are they? Flexi rods, curl formers, I'm not sure. I think they're flexi rods. They look natural if done decently. I'm sure that like I could make them look a little bit better if I try again, but for the first time, I'm very satisfied and I'm gonna wear my hair like this out in public and I don't have any visible heat damage right now. So this was a success. But I'm gonna try experimenting with some more natural hairstyles on my texture. So if you do have a similar texture, <sighs> texture, if you do have similar textures to mine, seeing as I have 93 textures in my head, then make sure to subscribe and follow and let me know what kind of hairstyles you wanna see me try out. I love experimenting. I pretty much work from home, so my hair, like I can literally have it be a failure and still post the video. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like it. If you have any tips for me, I am definitely open to that. I'm no expert and I am always willing to learn because I want my hair to look on point at all times. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.